Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you input bounding in view. So what I mean by input bounding is like let's say we will be creating one input and how you can get the value of that input your like into a JavaScript uh, variable. In simple words like creating an input and how you can hold the value of that input. So now let's get started with today's video. So in my previous video, I have shown you view router. So from there only I'll be moving ahead. So here let's go and uh, show you code now. So here you can see in app dot view I'm having only router. Then in example component you can see I'm having example component some basic HTML. So in this component I'll be creating input and show you how to hold its value. But before that, what's missing here is that CSS it's not working. So here you can see Bootstrap is used container row call md all these are used of bootstrap but it's not loading these css so we will be using uh, app.sc plus file before that i have loaded css file so let's go to welcome.blade and here i have used css so here i need to use sa double s and with app i need to use scss and now save it and now let's go and check in browser now you can see it's taking bootstrap css example component all this six because it's in a container and row is used here so now let's quickly create a form so here change heading form in vue.js after that uh, remove the card body and now write uh, let's say div class row and inside that call md12 then one form and inside that write uh, div class let's say form row inside that write label let's say name after that write input and in that import i'll be defining class that would be form control that is a bootstrap class and then give name attribute so let's say name only now we will be writing in view how to get the value of this input so now to get the value we will be using data here so inside data so this data basically you will be using to initialize initial state of a variable and you will be returning a you know object here so to get the data of input we will be using v model directive so what is v model v model basically you know is a two way data binding let's say inside v model i'm passing name and that same name i'm going to pass in data also that is name and initial value i'm passing as blank so here v model what is doing it's creating a link between the input value attribute and a data value in the view instance that i have defined below so now let's display the name so now below only that let's so display it now let's go to browser here you can see name is coming and now let's write some name inside it and you can see below that it's also showing so similar way you can create another input types as well let's say text area number email so now let's go with the text area so let me write here text data as a blank and now let's copy same and paste let's change it to text area and also input to text area so now let's change name also it will be text data and we model also text data and change in display also that is text data so now let's check in browser and write something you can see it's coming in display also so now next let's go for drop down so let's say drop down value and copy input change to drop down select change your name also drop down value and view model also then let's write some options let's say one two and three now let's check in browser and here you can see drop down one to three options are coming and if i'll select anyone and it's showing after drop down now next i'll be showing you is radio button so now let me just first format my document so after formatting now let's copy and paste one more input field and let's copy from name and here paste because we don't need text area for radio that's our input type so now in data let's define radio value and pass it as a blank and that i'll be giving v model and also display after that now let's copy one more same input type because radio will be like several options you will be getting and you will be choosing one from them so let's create another 
import with radio same name same v model because it will be like one value only we will be getting from multiple options and difference between the input fields will be values first one will be radio 1 and second will be radio 2 and let's define type also type radio both input will be type radio so now let's go and check radio in browser so now let me choose radio 1 so here you can see both are having radio 1 if i'll choose second option radio 2 value will be changed for radio buttons so now one more and last that i'll be showing you is checkbox so in data define checkbox value as blank and now let's copy same radio 1 and now let's change label to checkbox so now let's change v model to checkbox value then value also checkbox or value then name also checkbox value actually we need to remove value only and here write type as checkbox display also checkbox mm, yes so that's it now let's go and check in browser so if i'll click on checkbox you can see true false true false you can also change this uh, true or false to your particular value which you want so for that you need to define two attributes true value yes let's say that's your value and false value no now let's go and check in browser so if i'll click you can see on check it's saying yes and uncheck it's giving you false uh, sorry no so that's all in this video in this video i've shown you different input types and how you can handle them in view i hope you like this video if you have any doubt then you can comment down in the comment section in my next video i'll be showing you event handling in view like on click and all those things so stay tuned and till then take care thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel